Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today we are doing Thousand Stories Bourbon Barrel Aged Gold Rush Red Blend from California. Alright, it is 15% ABV, nice. This is, uh, like I said, 2014, so it's six years old. I've had it for several years, um, cellared in the basement. Um, and before I get started, if you don't mind, just hit the subscribe button for me. And know that if you're new here, I review everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And I even throw in my famous coffee reviews on Sunday. Anyway, I've gotten into this a little bit. You can see, put it in a different stopper. <coughs> Excuse me, when I first did it, tasted it. It's very sour. I thought, man, it's almost like it went bad. And I thought, how did it go bad? I've stored it perfectly. It's got a high ABV, which I was, the acid was very high on it. And I was surprised. I let it sit in the glass for uh, a long time. And it really opened up and became nice sometimes. So it was nice. Um, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this uh, aerator. And now it's been open for a while. And that should really... Polish it up nice. Open it up. Just tell you a little bit about this wine because it's interesting. Um, so I looked it up and it says uh, A Thousand Stories, California. California's original bourbon barrel aged wine producer. Right? So I guess they were the first ones to do it in California. Announces the nationwide launch of its newest wine. Well, I guess the 214 was their newest or when they first came out with this blend um, this uh, Thousand Stories Bourbon Barrel Blend All right, it's a mix of Cabernet Sauvignon Syrah, Petite Syrah and Merlot very interesting um, Thousand Stories of California Winery the original producer of Bourbon Barrel Age Zinfandel which this is not the wines are made in small batches, much like beer and spirits, each unique and expressive of the winemaker's interpretation of the fruit. Um, let's see here, anything other? No, well, there is something interesting in here. Um, it says, I don't want to read you anything boring, but um, he begins aging process in traditional French and American oak, French and American oak wine barrels. And then transition the lots to bourbon barrels. That's all we need to know. So, interesting. So let's get this uh, tasted. Like I said, it's got a big ABV on it, 15%. And we'll get this aerator in here real nice. Yeah, look at that. Look at the bubbles. Can you see the bubbles? good get me some good air yeah look at that look at that that's good all right so I'll circulate it through that um, beautiful aerator I have there my Roman uh, soldier aerator and um, then as it came down hit the glass and splashed up and it's even more air and perfect Let's see what we smell The great smell of red, juicy apples, um, possibly blackberries, cherries, just a lot of nice ripe fruit, a little bit of raisin smell. And that raisin probably comes from the fact that uh, it's six years old. It's got some oxidation to it, and uh, but the color, the color's, uh, you can see it, there's no brown or anything in it. It's got a nice uh, lighter colored rim right here. So it's far from being <clears throat> spoiled by any means. Let's get the taste. Cut the oak. Medium to light tannin. Medium to medium plus acidity. So it's not quite balanced in the sense that this acid is a little higher than tannin. Um, but got that oak, you can taste that oak influence. 
It's all got a little um, boozy smell to it. A little bit of uh, heavy on the alcohol smell. Just a little bit. You can really taste those dark fruits. And the raisin. The fruits aren't bright though, they're more like dried fruits. Um, very tasty. Uh, I like I like it uh, aged like this where it knocked off the freshness and just kind of matured it up a little bit. Oh, can I taste? I can't taste the bourbon, but it adds kind of um almost a that it adds a depth to it. So I was gonna say a a, a thickness to the wine, a, a depth. You can tell that it's got that flavor in there, but. You, just can't pick out that it's bourbon, but something different, something at it, just adds to the complexity. Overall, it's good. It's good. It's a nice blend. I like that they did it French American oak and then did it in bourbon barrels. And uh, now it's six years old and it's just about perfect now. So, from Hillbilly Select Reviews, they uh, apparently they do a uh, Zinfandel. Um, I don't even know if they make this gold rush red blend anymore, but uh, I may check out this Infidel from Hillbilly Select Reviews. Everybody, once I or like I said before, please make sure you subscribe, it's very important. Check out my playlists, I have so so many, everything broken down, so easy to find, real nice. And on that note, I will see you on the next one.